SpaceX is in the final phases of testing the Starship, as the latest reports reveal that the company has simulated various systems on the craft to make sure it is ready for its final pre-launch test. The Starship is expected to play a major role in the future of space exploration, but it must first pass various safety tests before human flights. Let's take a closer look at this newest simulation and see how the craft performed. The future of space travel has arrived, and it's called the SpaceX Starship. This incredible machine is set to revolutionize the way we explore the final frontier. SpaceX was founded by Elon Musk in 2002 with the goal of reducing the cost of space transportation and making space accessible to everyone. Over the years, SpaceX has achieved many milestones, including becoming the first privately funded company to send a spacecraft to the International Space Station and the first company to reuse a rocket. With the Starship program, SpaceX is taking its vision one step further. The Starship is the next step in SpaceX's journey to make space travel a reality for everyone. The spacecraft has been designed from the ground up with the goal of making space travel affordable and accessible to all. The Starship is the key to unlocking the final frontier and making space travel a common occurrence. The Starship is a reusable spacecraft that has been designed to carry both cargo and people to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The spacecraft is made up of two main components, the Super Heavy Rocket Booster and the Starship spacecraft. The Super Heavy Rocket Booster is responsible for providing the initial thrust to escape Earth's gravity, and then the Starship takes over to carry out the rest of the mission. The ship is designed to be fully reusable, which means that it can be used multiple times, reducing the cost of space travel significantly. This makes it possible for us to explore the final frontier like never before. Reports from NASA suggest that the massive Starship vehicle could launch on its first ever orbital test flight any day now. The agency has a stake in Starship's progress. NASA picked the giant rocket as the first crewed lunar lander for its Artemis program of moon exploration. If all goes according to the current plan, a Starship will put boots down near the moon's south pole in 2025 or 2026 on the Artemis 3 mission. No Starship prototype has taken flight since May 2021, and all of its jumps so far have reached a maximum altitude of just six miles or so. However, observers have now noted that SpaceX has begun pre-launch testing of the craft by simulating its engines for an upcoming flight. SpaceX's desire to fly an orbital mission with Starship prompted a lengthy environmental review by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, and there are still several things to finish up. That FAA review, called a Programmatic Environmental Assessment, examined Starship activities at Starbase, SpaceX's facility near the city of Brownsville in South Texas. The FAA concluded the assessment in June, following numerous delays from late 2021 due to the need to consult with other agencies and deal with public comments. The FAA said this summer that SpaceX needs to take 75 actions to reduce its environmental impact on the area. Despite SpaceX founder Elon Musk saying several times that Starship would be ready to go orbital soon, Musk recently said the target was November, it seems that SpaceX hasn't quite finished with those FAA action items. The coming mission aims to have to prototype 165-foot-tall Starship vehicle into orbit atop a super-heavy booster that has a height of 230 feet. The stacked hardware is the tallest rocket system ever. SpaceX has already conducted several static fire tests in 2022 to get Starship ready for the approximately 90-minute mission that, if successful, would see the spacecraft splash down off the coast of Hawaii. It's unclear how much prep work remains before SpaceX is ready to launch the mission, however. SpaceX's human landing system contract with NASA requires several successful spaceflight tests before Starship will be authorized to put astronauts on the moon. NASA is also seeking a second vendor for crewed Artemis landing missions, but more options won't be ready until Artemis 5 at the earliest, putting SpaceX in line for landings on Artemis 3 and Artemis 4 in about 2025 and 2027, depending on how earlier missions go. SpaceX has also been making regular improvements to the design of the Starship, with the biggest one being an overhaul of the craft's boosters. Once optimized, SpaceX says that Starship can launch up to 150 tons to low Earth orbit while still recovering the orbital ship and suborbital booster for reuse. CEO Elon Musk has stated that Starship reuse will eventually take hours, enabling multiple flights per day for each ship and booster and dropping the marginal cost of each launch to just a few million dollars. 
In comparison, SpaceX's workhorse Falcon 9 rocket uses simpler Merlin 1D engines, has just 10 of those engines to Starship's 39 Raptors, produces about 10 times less thrust at liftoff, and can launch about 11% as much payload to orbit while expanding its upper stage. Even then, Musk reported in mid-2020 that the marginal cost of a Falcon 9 launch was $15 million, impressively low but still a vivid demonstration of just how far Starship has to go. Simply ensuring that Starship can reach orbit at all is a major challenge. Successfully recovering Starship and Super Heavy after the fact may be an even bigger challenge and cannot be fully demonstrated until the rocket can consistently reach orbit. SpaceX won't be able to reuse Starship until it can consistently recover ships and boosters from orbital launches, and there's no guarantee that early prototypes will be reusable, even if they're recovered. Until reusability is demonstrated, every Starship upper stage will be functionally expendable whether or not Elon Musk wants it to be. Musk likely means that SpaceX may or may not decide to develop a Starship upper stage custom-built for expendable missions. Such a stage would likely take Starship, remove everything extraneous, and reduce its mass as much as possible. Musk has proposed something similar before, noting that SpaceX could develop a lightened version of Starship with no heat shield or fins or legs for expendable interplanetary launches. Further to the contrary, SpaceX's Starbase factory is already building multiple intentionally expendable Starships. Ship 26 and Ship 27 feature no thermal protection, have no heat shield tiles, and will not be fitted with flaps, making them impossible to recover or reuse. More likely than not, they will be used to test other crucial Starship technologies like orbital refilling and cryogenic fluid management. Meanwhile, SpaceX's multi-billion dollar contract to use Starship to return NASA astronauts to the moon revolves around a depot ship variant that will store propellant in orbit and cannot return to Earth. The first few Starship moon landers may also be functionally expendable and only used for one astronaut landing apiece. In short, SpaceX already has extensive plans to build variants of Starship that are either fully expendable or can only be reused in orbit. In early 2023, SpaceX revealed that an expendable version of the rocket will be able to launch up to 250 metric tons to low Earth orbit in a single launch. Saturn V, the next most capable expendable rocket, could launch up to 118 tons to low Earth orbit and cost $1 to $2 billion per launch. SpaceX, publicly advertising the expendable performance of Starship, unsurprisingly confirms that the company is considering all of the capabilities its new launch system will offer. And Starship's expendable capabilities are significant. Constructed piece by piece over dozens of launches, the International Space Station weighs about 420 tons. Two expendable starships could launch more usable mass to LEO. Truly revolutionary, if SpaceX can make starship launches frequent and routine. The Starship has the ability to carry up to 100 passengers to the Moon, Mars, and beyond, giving people the opportunity to experience space travel in a whole new way. With its comfortable cabin and advanced life support systems, the Starship is the perfect vehicle for space tourism. And with its powerful engines and efficient fuel system, it can carry out long-duration missions with minimal interruption. Space tourism is a relatively new concept and has only become possible in recent years due to advancements in technology. In the past, only astronauts and professional space travelers had the opportunity to experience the thrill of space travel. But now, with companies like SpaceX offering private missions to space, the dream of space travel is becoming a reality for more and more people. Space tourism offers many benefits both for the individual traveler and for society as a whole. For the individual, it offers the chance to experience a once-in-a-lifetime adventure and the opportunity to see our planet from a completely new perspective. For society, it provides a new source of revenue and jobs and helps to advance the field of space exploration. While space tourism is expected to be a big part of the Starship's future, the craft is needed for several groundbreaking scientific missions. After a successful splashdown of the Orion spacecraft in the Pacific Ocean, NASA Administrator and former Senator Bill Nelson shared that his agency plans to go to Mars by the end of 2030. Senator Nelson struck an upbeat tone after NASA had a great Artemis One mission and the remarks were made during a post-splashdown press conference in which he also shared details for SpaceX's Starship Lunar Lander. 
The event was attended by several agency officials, including Michael Serafin, NASA's Artemis One mission manager, who shared his final thoughts on Orion's performance as it entered the Earth at breakneck speeds for a successful landing. Throughout its journey to the moon and back, Orion performed better than NASA engineers had initially expected. The spacecraft's power generation, done through solar panels, generated more power than expected. As part of the mission, NASA added additional test objectives to stress the vehicle and learn more about its performance for future missions. The next Artemis mission will involve a crew, and not only will NASA use the data for the next mission, but it will also make changes to the ship. Administrator Nelson also shared crucial details about SpaceX's Starship Lunar Lander. This is currently the only vehicle that has been chosen by NASA to land humans on the moon as part of the Artemis program. He announced that SpaceX plans to do an uncrewed landing in 2023 and then do the crewed landing in late 2024. While delays are possible due to the Starship being a brand new concept, all signs point towards the craft being ready in time. Starship is the centerpiece of Musk's eventual plans to head to Mars. Although SpaceX makes its money from launch services, the company is also focused on developing technology for future space exploration. In 2011, Elon Musk told delegates at the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics in San Diego that he planned to take people to Mars in 10 to 15 years. Three years later, at the International Space Development Conference, he said the reusable rocket stage would be a step in getting to the Red Planet. In 2016, Musk unveiled his technological plan for Martian transport, which is a part of his plan to create a self-sustaining Red Planet colony in the next 50 to 100 years. If you like this video, you may also be interested in this one, which talks about SpaceX's new 250-ton booster for the Starship. Do you think SpaceX will get clearance from the FAA in time? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.